Thanks for stopping by FixMyRecipe.com. I'm Chef Billy Parisi, and our next recipe goes to Justin Puckett of Austin, Texas. He submitted a recipe to us while he was overseas in the Air Force. First of all, I want to say thank you, Justin, and to all the armed forces for everything you all do for us. Secondly, his recipe was for Mediterranean halibut. Now, he liked the recipe but wanted to know if we could add a little kick and maybe a few more ingredients to it. Don't worry, Justin, we're going to do just that. All right, the first thing we're going to do is get our pan nice and hot, and in the meantime, we're going to season up our beautiful halibut with a little salt and pepper. Now that our pan is hot, we want to add our extra virgin olive oil. Once it's smoking, you know it's perfect temperature. Let's hit our halibut right on. A cool trick to help you brown this halibut is add a little butter and you're going to notice it turns nice and brown and caramelized. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, perfect golden brown. All right, we just want to par cook these. Just caramelize them on the one side, give them a quick turn and let it sit there for a minute or so. We set the fish aside and then we're simply going to make our stew, which we're going to put our fish back in and bake. Yeah, perfect. All righty. Add our garlic. Some beautiful white onions that we diced up. I like onions a lot, so I'm going to add a little more than usual. And we're just going to saute that right off. All right, once our garlic is nice and brown, we're going to add a few more ingredients, what you didn't have, but I think it's going to enhance the flavor greatly. You want to add some capers. And of course, for that Mediterranean feel, we want some Kalamata and green olives. Be sure to take the pit out or you're going to regret it. And Justin, you wanted a kick and we are going to do just that with these crushed red pepper flakes. Oh yeah, that just equals spice. And we're going to cook this off a little bit farther right on the burner. What would Mediterranean cuisine be without a little vino? You gotta add white wine to this. Once our wine has died down, now we want to add in our tomatoes and fresh herbs. Justin, these are Mediterranean herbs indigenous to the area. Fresh basil and fresh oregano. Let's put a little juice in there because we also do want to sort of poach the rest of this fish in the oven in some, some of this beautiful tomato juice. Now, fresh basil mm, mm, mm. and of course fresh oregano. Now we're going to put this back on the burner. Don't forget, you want to season our liquid too. Justin, let's season up this beautiful Mediterranean stew that we go on out with a little salt and pepper. All right, Justin, our tomatoes are nice and cooked off, and you can see our liquid is sort of expanding. Now is the time. You want to put the halibut back in. Put it on 400 degrees or so for maybe 10 minutes. We just further want to cook our halibut. Our halibut has been in the oven for about 10 minutes. Let's take it out, plate it up, and get a kick. Hopefully it's not too spicy for me to try. I don't have much tolerance for a spice. I may need a glass of milk when I eat this, Justin. But I think you're going to find the kick that you were looking for and definitely all the other ingredients enhance the flavor of this. Don't forget, add some olives, add some peppercorns, add some capers, add wine, whatever you want to do. But don't forget those crushed red pepper flakes. That's all the heat that you want in your Mediterranean dish. Justin, thanks so much for writing in. Thanks for serving our country. While you're here, why don't you stick around and check out all the videos, but make sure you come back tomorrow and see our featured fix of the day.